Jeff, a, a fairly miserable night for uh, all the backs, I guess, but um, you must have thought you'd done enough to hold on there. Uh, yeah, I mean, any game that you've got conditions like that, it's going to be more of a battle up front. Um, you know, kind of a bar of soap out there, so, you know, lots of scrummaging and things like that. Um, I thought we defended well for most parts of those game, or the game, sorry. Um, and, you know, just a bit of pressure on us in the last two or three minutes and uh, obviously ended up losing the last play, but I thought for most parts of the game we defended quite well. You know, what was the uh, feeling in the dressing room, given that, that, as you say, the momentum looked to have been going your way for the previous 40 minutes or so? Um, yeah, I think guys are pretty disappointed. Um, you know, I think we came, you know, to a tough place with a with a good crowd, tough conditions, but backed up performances from the last couple of weeks. So, um, you know, it's always gut wrenching to lose that in that kind of way in this kind of game. But uh, you know, I think guys will bounce back from it. Just how difficult was it to cope with as a back three player out there? Oh, when you get high balls coming uh, in that kind of weather all game long, you know, it's tough. Um, you're not going to catch every one of them, so you're just going to dust them off and, and just keep playing and, and keep trying to stay warm, really. How much does this uh, spoil the momentum that you've built up in the last couple of weeks with the wins over Northampton, do you think? Uh, no, I don't think it spoils it at all. I think, um, you know, going into this game, we knew that, uh, you know, we'd, we'd have a tough one coming in here. and. You know, like I said, we played we played well for most of that game, so we're going to carry the same momentum in, and you know, get another tough derby next week. So, um, I don't think we're going to look at it as any setbacks or anything like that. So, we're just going to keep moving forward. Just a, a little five-day turnaround now before the Dragons game. Yeah, obviously not not uh, used to that, and uh, we just got to recover, and uh, we're straight back in tomorrow. So, um, quick turnaround and just kind of dust up the things that we got to correct from this game and look forward to the next one. Dragons losing at home to Cardiff Blues. Could this be the uh, the match to end your run of uh, away defeats in the league? Do you think? Uh, yeah, well, we hope so. Uh, it's again a tough place to go, and they're going to be a pretty hostile crowd as well. And you know, so we've got to come and do the same sort of thing and, and just battle it out again. Given your position in the league, is it a question of concentrating on Europe? Do you think this uh, in the next few weeks? I think we uh, we look at it each week, and we're focusing on on both leagues. Obviously, uh, we still got a chance in Europe, so that's you know, high priority. But we're still trying to get into that third place spot, and we want to make playoffs, so we want to win games. Jeff, why do you think you found it difficult to take advantage of them being a man down for the second period? Obviously, weather probably not conducive to play in the wide game. But you're a little bit disappointed that you couldn't take advantage of that a bit more. I think when you get conditions like that, um, obviously. There's not a whole lot of back play with it, so with the, the position that was red carded and wasn't involved with it, um, I think it would be different if it was a, you know, someone in the forwards, you know. So um, it's tough to exploit a winger being off the field when you know it's it's tough to get the ball out there. After a tough start this season, do you think? I know you lost to David. Do you think feel the tides turning a bit with the, with the two European uh, wins? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Um, like we did have a, a tough start, obviously, and a lot of people from the outside looking in or were asking questions. But uh, I think you can see from the performances we put together, and again tonight we battled to the last minute. Um, that you know the, the team's still hanging in there, and and we are together, and we do want to win. So yeah. Well, obviously, when when you're <coughs> excuse me when you're losing a lot of games, um, the people on the outside are going to ask questions. Um, have you guys been you know? Have you asked questions of yourselves as players as well, or you know, have you always had the belief that you know, you know, you could turn things around? Oh, I, if we go into every game thinking that we can win it. Um, there's no questions with that, but. Obviously, coming off a of defeat and stuff, we do look at ourselves, what we can do better, and we do question ourselves. You know, we are professional players that, that want to be the best we can, so we're always going to look to, to get better each game. But there's never been any sort of question within the, within the team whether we can get wins and, and do, do well in the league. What are you doing better now to, you know, what's the secret to turning everything around? I think guys are just, um, we're just focusing on ourselves and, and, and trying to enjoy being each other's company and uh, enjoy playing. You know, good rugby together, and and going to big big venues like um, Northampton and here, and and competing at the top level. Yeah.